my friends and welcome to the channel so um, in this one i'm going to quickly show you how you can format your code um, on visual studio code on save okay so um, this is basically an app.js file um, in a react application and basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a, a number of space bar to disorganize the code and if i go ahead so you see here that there is a um, dot here which means that um, there are changes to be saved if I save this code, it actually saves like that, okay? Now, there are situations where this may cause some problems for you. So, I'm going to show you how you can do it such that when you save, it automatically formats and properly indents your code. So, the first thing you need to do is, um, if you are not subscribed to my channel and you like content around web development and tech in general, then hit the subscribe button and leave a like on this video. Alright, so I'm going to come to extend the extensions tab here. So I'll click on this and I'll search for formatter. Okay. So that's a double T. Okay. And basically the extension I want you to install is prettier. I think code formatter. So prettier code formatter. So just go ahead and install it. And it should just take maybe like a minute to install. Now, what I want you to do next is I want you to go to your settings and you know just click on settings here and um, basically you can just go to your settings.json file okay so if you just search for settings.json you should be able to see edit in settings.json so uh, go ahead and click on this and basically this is the file you should see so this file contains all of your visual studio code settings if you use visual studio code i'm sure you already know um, this okay so there are a lot of settings i have you know put in the past but the specific one i want you to add after you've installed prettier code formatter is these two lines okay so i'm just gonna comment on on comment this out okay so basically what i want you to do is to add this first line here and editor dot default formatter okay and set it to this value okay so what this will do is that it will make sure that that extension we just installed becomes your default formatter and then the next line here editor dot format on save set it to true okay um if you set this to true basically it does what it says when you save it's going to format your code okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and save this and if I go to my app.js file, and you see the way it's, um, you know, roughly indented now, I'm just going to make some change, and I'm going to try to save it. And as you can see, it has properly indented my code. So this will work with HTML, it will work with CSS, it will work with JavaScript. But um, there is something I want to show you. If you want to be language specific, right, there is a way you can actually be language specific. So let me quickly show you how you can do that. So basically what you need to do is you just need to go to your json file okay and maybe what i've got to do is i just got to come below this um, editor.format on save and if you want to be language specific just um, use this um, okay sorry so ctrl z and i just wanted to indent this okay so this is what you got to use okay so just you know put in your square brackets and then put in the language you want the formatter to take care of okay so in this case um, the example here is javascript so put in javascript and then within the curly braces of course i gotta add a comma here to you know prevent the error from the bottom so basically just put edit.format on save and set it to true inside of this curly braces and whatever language you put here um, will be automatically formatted when you save that document okay so that's how you can be specific with this um, um, plugin okay so um thank you so much for watching this tutorial it was a short one but if you're not subscribed to the channel uh please go ahead and subscribe and see you in another video